Hey, what's up, Time Capsule Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. One of the things I want to talk about today, I was actually flipping around through my binders. I'm a big collector of Japanese cards, huge advocate of them. I've been for years, right? I was going through the old binder. I was looking for something to post. I post up on Instagram as well, by the way, same name and all that stuff if you want to check me out over there. I was posting some stuff, looking at some Japanese cards, and I was like, huh. I remember when everybody just couldn't get enough of these. I remember when people who had no idea what they were talking about when it came to Japanese Pokemon cards were basically pushing these onto new people coming to the hobby saying these are the top investments, the top things to put your money into. This is what's going to be going to the moon. This is what you need to be like, like looking forward at. Ignore these cards. Look at these cards. And one of the big ones that was being pushed was full art trainers. Now, typically, a lot of people don't like collecting full art trainers for a couple of different reasons. Number one, people generally collect Pokemon for Pokemon, which I completely understand. A lot of the SARs, a lot of the new things that are coming out with Pokemon, even back in the day two, Pokemon was the big thing. And number two, they really weren't usually that valuable unless they were playable. Now, of course, if you pulled one, it was playable you sold to someone like fucking playing the deck games or something like that sure you made a little bit of profit but typically unless it was like a draw supporter or something like that it wasn't really so much the case but something was pushed from japan and then stores were getting involved people were kind of putting out these lists people were kind of perpetuating more that japanese cards were in demand than they were and to a degree some people bought it a lot of people actually bought it because it translated very well to sets i'm sure people remember fucking miriam being like 900 bucks 800 bucks dendra was the crazy one she's dropped so much too she was like at that same price point too at about nine hundred dollars for that card and don't get me wrong i love these trainers i think they're great and i mean dendra miriam thumbs up pokemon you know what you're doing with that but at the same time did they fetch that value for something that was legitimate absolutely fucking not and one of the key proprietors here was these little stores these little lists right here and these were the ones that were actually put up by stores being like hey you're bringing this card it's in mint condition we'll buy it at this price of course it's in yen but you can actually add 10 percent and convert usd or pounds or whatever the heck currency you're using and you generally get what that card is about worth this is what they're buying it for and i just went on and looked and i was just seeing what cards were actually worth i was learning like hey what's the damage what actually fucking happened in the last year so i was taking a look at it and just the, the amount of damage that you're watching here even from a year ago for example we're looking at this list right now and if you're looking erica sar is sitting at about 7,000 yen which roughly translates to about 45 50 usd and that's insane because she was the pull from 151 i do believe pokemon cards actually outclass that now i think blastoise or not maybe not even blastoise blastoise might actually but charizard's the big one that's going to top that and some of the master balls are the ones that are topping that too which i still think is absolutely insane that reverses are topping that but whatever but for a card to be like 400 500 bucks to be now chilling at about 50 dollars just goes to show you how inflated this market was and how fucking easy it was to twist people's arm with this stuff dendra like i said she was 900 dollars at one point she's dropped down to 9,000 yen which is roughly 65 70 dollars usd of course you're paying to get this stuff shipped in and paying a little bit more it's the same stuff i mean like does anybody remember anybody remember when fucking like iono sar was two thousand dollars you can pick one up for roughly about 200 300 this is the sar from clay burst the set that fucking drove everybody insane japan really got their stuff together and started printing i mean look at that miriam like you can get her for like 120 130 bucks right there that's what they're willing to pay 150 bucks like if you're trying to pay for that stuff and stuff is just incrementally went down as you can see the sun and moon trainers definitely are holding a little bit more value and i mean i think that's fair when you think about those cards now you're not fucking thinking of those as like being like something like modern modern i would dare say especially for the case of some of the xy hell sun and moon's kind of pushing it too you're kind of looking a little bit more towards like the modern vintage era where like some of those cards you're gonna have a hard time getting some of those and the erica cards were especially popular the ones like right there the one from actual tag team all-stars the parasail beautiful card that's like an alternate art erica card there that's like an example of an sar card before they even had sar cards the sightseer card still fetches a good little bit you can still pick that card up for like seven eight hundred bucks but remember at one point people were pushing that sucker for like two thousand twenty two hundred dollars twenty five hundred dollars no fucking problem because people were willing to buy and invest in something they knew nothing about i mean if you're going back and looking at these prices this was just a year ago by the way let's like see we can see the erica right up there up at the top basically for a hundred thousand more yen so basically double the price so instead of being like around 500 bucks you're looking at like 1200 dollars right there is what they're willing to give you of course from, yes i know the stores don't typically give that full amount they try to like nickel and dime you every step of the way this is what they're advertising 
season, though, and if you do have a mint copy, in theory, this is what you're getting. Sightseer literally was double the price, like, over there. Instead of being, like, I don't know, fucking, like, $800, like, $1,600, $1,700 they would give you for that stuff anyway. Look at the price of this stuff. It's just insane. This was real. This was hype that was being pushed. This is something that was absolutely insane. Like, we're going to see it a little bit later, but remember those prices right there for, like, Lily's Full Force and the, uh, the Lusamines down there, especially the Mother Beast and the Standard Lusamine? Those are extremely, extremely expensive for what they're going to turn into. They're still not cheap cards by any stretch of the imagination, but fuck. Look at that, 250,000 yen? You're looking at fucking, like... Like, what is that even? Like, let's do the fucking quick conversion. Like, $1,600 or something like that? $1,700? bucks. someone fucking correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's about, like, $1,700 USD for what they're doing. Like, it was an insane time in Japanese cards. And fucking people just, they, they lost their mind for this stuff. I remember fighting it, too. All right, you saw those Lusamine cards down there. Like, look down to the very fucking bottom. Once again, this is only a couple days ago. So, there's still some value in these Japanese cards. Don't be wrong. They're not fucking dirt goddamn cheap or anything but like lucimine literally has dropped about like 50 percent 55 60 percent right there 120,000 yen 110,000 yen that is a huge far cry especially if you purchase those cards for that value back in the day you've certainly lost a lot of money on these cards they're fantastic cards they're my favorite to collect i truly do think trainers are something special i mean if you look over there you can see the lycia like 160,000 yen it's a pretty pretty steep like it's about a thousand dollars you're looking at right there eleven hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars for what that card would actually be pushing right there but i mean that's a huge far cry from like the the four hundred thousand yen it was pushing at one point too it's fucking crazy man let's see if i can actually find alicia on the previous list she's not on this list i'll try to find one in particular like from a little bit further back but i know she was fetching like a good little bit like 360 300,000 yen, so just something absolutely stupid bonkers. It was ridiculous. If I find it, I'll put it up here. And I mean, the prices that were going back then, I mean, like literally just regular cards, regular fucking cards, like 90,000 yen for a Lily's Full Force that was literally 30, 40 bucks at one point. And I mean, that's not even the fucking peak of it. At one point, at absolute one point, and this was like only a fucking year ago, 200,000 yen for that. You're literally looking at like $1,300 that they were willing to buy for that stuff. Some people cashed out on this and some people made a good amount of money. And in my personal true opinion, if that's truly what some people are trying to do from this, you were very smart. If you had no attachment to these cards or anything like that and you bought them for dirt cheap and dumped them, then you, in my opinion, probably made a lot of money. But me, I like the cards. I didn't dump them. I still have almost every single one of my cards. And these prices were pretty crazy to look at at the time. But at the same time, it was just hype. It was something that wasn't going to actually stick. I mean, look at the Skylar cards right there. They're fucking nutty. Just look at that. Even the one from a Shiny Star V was getting a pretty crazy boom. Look at Zinnia. Look at Gardenia. Gardenia. 100,000 yen, which was like $600 at the time. They would, it's just... That's kind of nuts, man. Steven was fetching a pretty good price, too. That's the promo, the XY promo. It's a... Uh, holy shit, what a crazy year. And then you go forward, and like th th what I'm trying to say about this stuff is like Japanese cards like this, they do have some value, especially some of the more vintage ones. I mean, look at Gardenia at the top right there. 25,000 yen. That is literally a quarter of what people were trying to buy her for a year ago, which that's not chump change by any means. That's still $180 for that card. But goddamn, were people like just willing to throw some money or the, the illusion of people willing to throw some money. These, car these card stores were willing to buy some of these cards, man. I mean, Rosa, very good card. I mean, you're still looking at like 280, 300 bucks for that card right there. Same time, like, I mean, it's that's like fucking a third of what people were willing to buy it for a year ago. And I really, truly do hope people didn't lose that much money there are still some exceptions to the rule the lily cards they have gone down but they are still insane like if you have those which i luckily do have some thank god they're still ridiculously expensive anywhere from two to five thousand dollars willing to buy for that stuff the end cards are absolutely fantastic i'm so glad i have those as well they're also 120 000 yen as well for that 300,000 yen for Hex Maniac. The best of XY cards are actually holding a pretty good amount of value. I knew they would. Those are truly special trainers, and those ones truly are some people's favorites. The art speaks for themselves. Hex Maniac, Karen, Delinquent, all those are fantastic. The Misty from Evolution. So, like, there was a lot of Evolutions floating around whenever it was, like, the, excuse me, it was CP six anniversary in japanese we'll call it japanese evolution there was a ton of that floating around for a little bit but at the same time like those those cards didn't really exchange hands very much people that pulled those misty and brock cards generally held on to them myself included i do have both those cards and like I, i'm not trading those fuckers look at those prices 
fucking 80,000 yen and you're looking at about like $500. That's not chump change. And you can still find deals on these cards for that stuff, but this is just what card stores are willing to give you. This is fucking lists like this week. This is like a week ago to a week. Like this is not very long ago. But some some of these cards are like actually going like this is like regular value. This is like fucking after the whole stabilization has happened. And the cards that people truly like are the ones that are kind of holding a little bit of value to that stuff too. This is a little bit inflated, obviously, for the fucking sake of the store. But like Skyla over there is still 150,000 yen. You're still looking at about like a thousand dollars for the black and white one. Some of the husbandos are kind of creeping up there a little bit too, which I'm very happy to see because AZ, Lysander, Team Flair and then good old brock they actually got a little bit right there my boy wally down at the bottom and that's something you didn't really see back then it was mostly the whole the fucking the waifu push which i always thought was weird because most people are talking about like underage characters anyway but like at the same time it, it it's what people were fucking pushing i didn't really like that shit but i was glad some of the actual characters people like the certain characters and some of those are getting pushed up too a lot of pokemon characters have really great designs a lot of them look really good, and a lot of the cards are fantastic for all our trainers. They are my favorite to pull for a reason, but it's just, in a year's glance, man, like, let's see if we can find, let's fucking find one that was, like, kind of nutty a little bit ago. It's not so crazy. Uh, yeah, there, there's a good one right there. Uh, the Lily's Full Force for uh, 30,000 yen. That's still a decent amount of money for the card that you're looking at about 180 bucks, but, I mean, like, comparatively to, like, let's pull that other one back up real quick. Two, uh, like, 200,000 yen. For that shit. So $1,300. So if someone bought that card thinking it was going to... You lost like... 90% of like what you had fucking purchased into it man it dropped significantly and some people got majorly boned on some of this shit too and you really do hate seeing that but at the same time enough people are trying to warn people that this was a fad and a phase and I don't think it's necessarily gone forever I think someone's gonna try to resurge this and I think some fucking Japanese sets have the potential to bring people back into this and maybe kind of bring in a new era a new group of people trying to push these cards that aren't really fucking interested in it but hopefully the data will be here enough I'll be here to fucking retry every i have all these lists saved i have all this stuff and i'll be willing to go over this stuff if it comes back again it's just it's a little weird it's a little funny looking back and seeing what people like i mean some of these cards still do have some value man the bridget's looking pretty good the hex maniac the karina the karen i love that karen card by the way the fucking xy cards are the best of xy so good the team rockets handiwork love that card a good little bit the pokemon center lady you got some fantastic cards here my boy sharon getting some love Good stuff, good stuff. Just want to take a little trip down memory lane, you know, just to remind you. Japanese cards used to be something that people pushed fucking unwillingly, of course, but they dropped. They kind of stabilized a little bit. Just, it's crazy. They're not completely valueless. There's some really good cards in Japanese, but the hype was definitely being pushed, and I hope it doesn't come to that again. That's all I got. Appreciate it, Virgin. See you later. Ooh, good stuff. Good times. Good old Japanese memory lane stuff over here.